Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are covering a MCQ from unit 1.1. So this question says, an automobile is driven on a straight road and the distance traveled by the automobile after time t equals zero is given by a quadratic function s where s of t is measured in feet and t is measured in seconds for zero is less than or equal to t is less than or equal to 12. Of the following, which gives the best estimate of the velocity of the automobile in feet per second at time t equals eight seconds? So key things to know here are, first of all, what is velocity and how does it relate to position and time? So the velocity is just the average rate of change of the position with respect to time. So what we want to be thinking of here is average rate of change, and we want to go back to our simple algebra one formula for slope, which is m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So immediately looking through my answer choices, I'm eliminating a and b because they don't fit this model at all. So now I'm left with c and d. These both look like equations for the average rate of change. Um, however, we want to think about which one is the best estimate, right? That's kind of the key word here, which one is best. So one thing I'm thinking about is just how big my interval is going to be, right? If I want to be centered around t equals 8, this one here is kind of centered, but when you think about the distance from 8 to 12, that's only four units, whereas the distance from 8 to 2, that's six units. So I really don't like this one. So this one, not only are those endpoints closer to 8, but they're also each equally spaced from 8, right? They each have a distance of one unit away from 8. So answer choice D would give you the best estimate for the velocity. All right, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.